You know, static SVGs are fine, but animated SVGs? That's what makes your UI feel truly premium and alive. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a simple SVG and transform it into this beautiful line drawing animation using GSAP. Now, there are multiple ways to animate SVGs with GSAP, but I'm going to teach you the easiest method I found. No heavy libraries, no complex setup, just clean HTML, some CSS, a bit of JavaScript, and GSAP doing all the heavy lifting for us. By the time we're done, you'll be able to add this stunning effect to your own logos, icons, or landing pages. Ready to make your designs come alive? Let's get started. Before we dive into the animation logic, let me quickly walk you through our HTML structure so you understand what we're working with. We have a main container that holds everything together inside this container we have multiple SVG elements. Now here's the really cool part. We also have a control section at the bottom. This includes a play slash pause button so users can control the animation and a progress bar that shows how far along the animation is. Now for the technical setup. I'm including three essential script tags in our HTML. First, we have the core GSAP library. This gives us all the basic animation superpowers. Next, I'm bringing in the Special Draw SVG plugin, which is absolutely magical for creating those smooth line drawing effects we want. This plugin makes animating SVG paths incredibly simple, almost like having a virtual pen that draws your shapes for you. And finally, we link to our own app.js file, where we'll write the custom animation logic that brings our winter scene to life. With these three pieces in place, we're ready to start animating. Let's jump into the CSS and quickly understand the styling. Let me quickly walk through the key styling choices. Our container acts as a full screen canvas. While all SVGs start hidden and only appear with is active class, the controls sit at the bottom with a gradient play button and a progress bar that starts empty but will fill as our animation runs. This creates the perfect stage for our SVG animation. Now let's bring it to life with JavaScript. First step in our JavaScript, we register the Draw SVG plugin with GSAP. This tells GSAP, hey, we're gonna use this special plugin for SVG drawing animations. It's like unlocking the superpower that lets us create those beautiful line drawing effects. Now we're ready to start animating. Next, I'm setting up our key elements. First, I grab all the SVG slides using GSAP's utility function, which converts them into an array we can easily animate. Then I select our progress bar element, which will visually track our animation's progress. And finally, I get the play slash pause button so users can control the animation. These three variables give us everything we need to build our interactive animation system. Now I'm adding a safety check. This if statement simply checks if we actually have any SVG slides to work with. It's like knocking on the door before entering, making sure our animation targets actually exist this prevents errors and ensures our code only runs when we have something to animate. All of our animation logic will live safely inside this condition. Inside our safety check, I'm creating what I call the master timeline. This is going to be the conductor of our entire animation orchestra, controlling when each SVG appears and disappears. I'm setting it to repeat negative one, which means it will loop continuously creating an endless animation cycle until the user pauses it. Think of this as the foundation that will hold all our individual slide animations together in perfect sync. Now we're setting up each individual SVG for animation. I'm looping through every SVG slide. And for each one, I grab all the path elements inside it. For every path, I'm doing some clever preparation. First, I save the original fill color in a data attribute so we can restore it later after the animation. Then I set the fill to be completely transparent, hiding the solid color until we're ready to reveal it. And here's the key part. I set up the stroke with the same color as the original fill, with nice rounded ends and joins, and make sure it doesn't scale when the SVG resizes. This transforms our solid shapes into outlined paths that are perfectly prepped for that beautiful drawing animation effect. Now for the absolute magic. This single line is where the Draw SVG plugin works its sorcery. Let me break down what's happening here. 
the drawS VG property is special to the drawS VG plugin, and setting it to zero means we're telling each path, start completely invisible as if you haven't been drawn yet. Think of it like this, every SVG path is like a connect the dots drawing, and draw SVG, zero means we're hiding all the lines between those dots. The path exists in the code, but visually, it's completely blank. Later, when we animate draw SVG from zero to 100%, it will progressively reveal the path, creating that beautiful hand-drawn effect where the line appears to be drawn in real time. The plugin is incredibly smart about this too. It doesn't just show the path from start to finish in one chunk. It actually animates the stroke dash array and dash offset properties under the hood, creating that smooth, natural drawing motion that would be incredibly complex to code manually. This one line sets the stage for the entire animation, transforming our static SVG paths into blank canvases ready to be magically drawn before the viewer's eyes. Now I'm creating what I call a slide timeline for each individual SVG. This is where we orchestrate the entire animation sequence for just this one slide. I'm setting some default values, each animation within this timeline will last half a second with no easing, creating that crisp mechanical feel. But here's where it gets really clever. I'm using the on start callback, which fires the moment this slide's timeline begins playing. Inside this callback, I'm doing two critical things. First, I'm hiding all slides by removing the as active class, then immediately showing only this current SVG by adding the class back. This creates that clean transition where only one slide is visible at a time. Second, I'm resetting our progress bar back to zero, setting the transform origin to the left so it fills from left to right. This ensures each slide's progress starts fresh, giving users a clear visual indicator of how far along we are in this specific slide's animation. Think of each slide timeline as a self-contained animation package. That handles both the visual display and progress tracking for its entire duration. This structure gives us perfect control over the sequencing and user feedback for every individual slide in our presentation. Now we're at the heart of our animation, where we bring this SVG to life with two beautifully coordinated effects. The first animation uses the Draw SVG plugin to create that magical line drawing effect. I'm animating the draw SVG property from our initial 0 to 100%, which means each path will be progressively revealed as if being drawn by an invisible pen. The stagger value of 0.08 seconds creates that beautiful cascading effect, where each path starts drawing slightly after the previous one, giving it that organic, hand-drawn feel. And the position parameter of 0 means this animation starts immediately when the slide begins. But here's where the real magic happens. The second animation targets the fill opacity, changing it from transparent to fully opaque over 0.2 seconds. The position parameter, 20%, is absolutely brilliant. It means start this animation 20% of the way through the previous drawing animation. So the fills begin appearing while the strokes are still being drawn, creating this gorgeous layered effect where the color flows in right behind the drawing line. The same stagger value ensures the fills cascade in the same rhythm as the strokes, maintaining perfect visual harmony. This two-step approach transforms our SVG from invisible to fully drawn and colored in one seamless, captivating sequence that feels alive and dynamic. Now I'm adding the final piece that ties everything together, the progress bar animation. This is a really clever technique where I'm animating the progress bar to scale from zero to full width over the exact duration of this slide's entire timeline. The magic here is slide TL underscore door. This automatically gets the total duration of everything we've added to this slide's timeline so far. Whether it's half a second or five seconds, it dynamically calculates the perfect duration for our progress bar. By setting the position parameter to zero, I'm making the progress bar start animating at the exact same moment the slide begins. So as the SVG paths are being drawn and filled, the progress bar smoothly expands from left to right in perfect sync, giving users a clear visual representation of how much time is left in this slide. 
This creates that professional experience where the progress bar doesn't just jump from slide to slide, but continuously fills and resets, providing seamless feedback throughout the entire animation sequence. It's a small detail, but it makes the entire presentation feel polished and intentional. You noticed this line and wondered what it's doing there? This is actually the secret sauce that brings everything together. Remember our master timeline from earlier? The one I called the conductor of our animation orchestra. Well, this line is where we hand each individual slide timeline over to that conductor. The master dot add slide TL command takes the complete animation sequence we just built for this single slide with all its drawing effects, fill animations, and progress bar, and slots it into the master timeline. Since we're doing this inside a loop that goes through every slide, we're essentially building a perfect queue where slide one's entire animation plays, then slide two, then slide three, and so on. This creates that beautiful, seamless presentation where slides automatically transition from one to the next with the master timeline ensuring perfect timing and coordination between all of them. Without this one line, we'd have a bunch of individual slide animations, but no way to play them in sequence. They'd just be sitting there waiting for instructions. This is what transforms our collection of separate animations into one cohesive professional presentation. This last part is what makes our animation truly interactive, giving users control over the entire experience. I'm adding a click event listener to our play slash pause button that does three clever things. First, it toggles the paused state of our master timeline. Not master dot paused inside master dot paused is a neat trick that flips the current state. If it's playing, it pauses, and if it's paused, it plays. Then I immediately check what the new paused state is because I need to update our button icon to match. Finally, I toggle between the play and pause icons using bootstrap icons classes, showing the pause icon when the animation is running and the play icon when it's paused. This creates that professional media player experience where users can control the animation at any time. And the button always shows the correct action for the current state. It's the final piece that transforms our beautiful animation from a passive show into an interactive experience that users can engage with and control, making it feel truly polished and professional. And there you have it. We've transformed static SVGs into a captivating, interactive animation that brings your designs to life. From setting up the Draw SVG plugin to creating perfectly timed slide sequences, and adding user controls, you now have the complete toolkit to create stunning SVG animations. If you found this helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Pixel Perfect for more creative coding tutorials. I'd love to hear what you're building. Drop your questions and project ideas in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Keep creating amazing things, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Happy coding!